Hey everybody, it's Blazing903. If you're new to the channel, please hit like and smash that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the four, or is it 6,000 things I hate about this car. The fifth thing I hate about the car is that when I park the vehicle, I have to park it a quarter of a mile away from my destination because I believe that the rest of the world does not know how to park their car correctly and will ultimately ding my precious Corvette. The fourth thing I hate about this car is that GM did a flawless job on the Corvette. So that makes it very difficult for me to do modifications. But with that said, I went ahead and got the car ceramic coated and that it increased the horsepower by 250 horses. So that Prius that's around my neighborhood that's always wanting to rev and race me, I'm coming for you Prius. The third thing I hate about the car is the rear spoiler. So although the stock rear spoiler gives you 10,000 pounds of downforce pressure in highway speeds, I want to get to stage 473. And the reason why I want to get stage 473 is because that rear spoiler gives you 375 million pounds of downforce. So in highway speeds, when I'm going two trillion miles an hour, I'm not going to fly off the highway. The second thing I hate about this vehicle is the brake dust. So I've decided to simply stop using the brakes. And I'm going to be pedal to the metal 24-7. In those rare occasions that I do have to stop the vehicle, I'm simply going to have to plan my stops well in advance because the vehicle does do a pretty good job of slowing down and ultimately stopping once you lay off the gas. But after two or three days of driving, you'll see here, no brake dust. The plan is working. And the number one thing I hate about this car is that I can't walk away for too long without having to take a sneak peek at it or it's always on my mind because I think something's going to happen to it. So I have become truly enamored with the look of the vehicle um, to the point where it's a near obsession. It's very crazy because I've never been this way with a vehicle before. But with this one, I don't know if it's the heritage or the attention that it gets or that is American made. I, I don't know, it's probably a combination of a lot of things, but this vehicle couldn't be more worth every penny that it costs. This vehicle couldn't be more fun. This vehicle couldn't have a greater sense of pride of ownership from every owner in the Corvette community. So with that said, obviously you can tell by now that my five things that I hate about the vehicle aren't really five things that I hate about the vehicle because there is truly nothing that I dislike about the vehicle and this is a comedic offset to my original video that speaks to the five things I hate about the car that was a more structured serious you know clip but it wasn't meant to offend anybody and it didn't mean that I hated any of those things a friend of mine gave me a good analogy he said you can have a million dollar or multi-million dollar custom house made for you and once you live in it you're gonna find things that could have been done better and that was the whole point of that video but I couldn't be happy to be a Corvette owner I couldn't be happier to be part of the Corvette family until the next one drive safely